just out here vlogging, no worries, you know what I'm saying? What it do? Oh, look at that bloom. Look at that halation. We made a diffusion filter. Say hello to the newest member of the moment, filter family, Cine Bloom. Vlogging. I'm low key already hungry, so let's hit it. All right, so right now we're going to shoot in the field. Yeah, right now we have the diffusion with the variable, where am I? With the variable ND on it. This is cool. What's up? What's up? We stopped to get Dr. Pepper. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you look glam A. Do I? Yeah. These glasses are glam. The difference between no filter and then going to 20% is actually quite drastic. Just flipping through these, I'm interested to see these again on a computer blown up. But it's much creamier, much more golden. Ooh! That is like... <gasps> oh wow, that actually is super great. I like that a lot. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. What's up, fam? We back. Dare to dream. Wow. Yo. Little bloomy light. Little bloomy light there. Pretty sick. Okay, so let's talk about diffusion filters and what they actually do. It basically takes the digital edge off of your footage or your photo. But let's dive into what that actually means. First off is it smooths the skin. Because your footage is less sharp, you see less of the blemishes in skin. So if you have big pores or some makeup on or basically wrinkles or anything that is would be considered a blemish, it smooths that out. Good imperfections. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. All right, well. Not look very good. No, this is a good I'm gonna keep this part in the vlog so, okay. that, so that it makes me not look like as big of an a-hole. <laughs> the second thing that I love about these filters and that I think it just looks really cool is how it blooms light. Scientifically, it's called halation. Don't know why, not really sure what that word actually means, but I do know that it means light is being dispersed. So what it's actually doing is catching the light in the filter and all those little dust particles, I think are then reflecting that light into the sensor and that is how halation happens. It's really cool because if you shoot at a practical light, which is just a light in your shot, you're gonna see that light bloom, and the characteristics of that bloom are just more filmy. It's more cinematic, and it looks more like something you'd see in a Hollywood film. I know this sounds a little bit like foo-foo filmmaker, but there's a reason that Hollywood films look a certain way, and really, when we're shooting films, we're trying to mimic that look. Lastly, what these filters do is they actually decrease the contrast in your image. It actually makes your image a little bit flatter, which again, it's just mimicking that traditional Hollywood look, which a lot of times you don't see super punchy colors. Things are typically more muted. Now, all this to say, you're not actually sacrificing any quality of your footage. You are actually still getting great skin tones, 4K, 2020 bad boy cinematic footage. You're not sacrificing any of that quality. You're just giving it a little bit of a little bit of a Mm, to make your footage or photos look just sweet. The light is blooming.
wanted to talk briefly about what makes our diffusion filters different than the other filters that are out there. So number one is our filters are so, so sick. <laughs> thinner, they're pretty uh, low profile, and that allows you to stack a variable ND filter on top of it, and you won't have that much of a yetting. The other cool thing about ours is that it's more affordable than a lot of the other competitors out there, and it doesn't sacrifice quality. So you're still getting high quality optics, but just at a more affordable price point. I mean, I mean, things that are, Things that are more affordable <laughs> are, are usually are pretty sick. sick. Like are more better. Yeah, are, like are more, more affordable, more. Yo, what is up? I'm looking at the mother effing screen. Alright, All right, so quick rundown of what we're Okay, quick rundown of what we're doing here. We are shooting three Spotify videos for the Marias, which they're a band here in LA. Super good. If you've never listened to the Marias, check them out. Taylor's about to bring the heat. Let's get it. It's gonna be so cool. Oh, and then okay. different sizes 37 52 62 67 72 77 and 82 millimeters and every single size is available in two different densities either 10% or 20% so one is obviously a bit stronger than the other the 10% is a little subtle and the 20% is quite drastic when would you so. use a diffusion filter oh man really yeah I'm trying a blank here. Let me answer that question. Yeah. Oh, oh shit. So I would consider myself more of a film photographer, and to be honest, with this, it feels like I can get excited about digital again. So I would keep it on forever, honestly. So you would keep? I would personally keep it on, but what you would use it for, I mean, shoots like this, where you're, you're in vibey locations, obviously when you're around lights. Um, it's a lot better answer than Mike. Portraits. Sick. Portraits. Oh. I think the 20% to me is actually more enticing just because you get that look and it is such a distinct look. It's like when I'm filming and I want to make my footage stand out, make my film stand out from the others, that 20% filter is gonna be one of those things that doesn't break the bank but can also set your film apart. So the 20% for me is the home run. 10% um, I would also get just because even when I'm shooting anything that even isn't vibey, that little 10% I think will just be a little bit of a Mm. on top of uh, all my cinematic goodness. Uh, all my cinematic goodness. <clears throat> all right, so as you can see here, this is the edit. I'm editing this video. Thank you so much for watching it. Niles was so excited about his cinematic footage that he forgot to record an outro to the vlog when they were shooting, so... Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you've watched it, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and make sure to follow the link below if you want to check out the Cine Bloom filters. We are really excited about this filter. I don't even have one on this camera right now. Wish I did, uh, but I'll be getting one shortly. So uh, anyways, at least I can be on the video now and say hi. Subscribe, like.
Have a great day.